what's up you guys um it is it is quarter to four in the morning on the 29th of november <laughs> and i just came back from the club so i just thought i'd hop on here and let you guys know how that went or while i get undressed from my night out um just chat to you guys i went out with my girls it was a lot of fun it was one of my girls 32nd birthday so we went out and celebrated and it's actually the first time that i've been out to a club this entire year and i'm sure you can guess why well there, there are a couple of reasons but number one i think i've outgrown that scene but we'll talk about that again in the morning number two i've been on prep for the past two years so prep and alcohol do not mix i am sober as a judge right now well i probably would get arrested if i were to drive myself home which is why i took an uber because i'm a smart girl but i didn't drink a lot because i hate having a hangover i've got a cake to finish in the morning and i want to get my ass to the gym also i don't want to spend my entire day wishing i didn't drink so much so i'm going to bed now at 4 a.m and i will speak to you guys in the morning and let you know how everything went also i gotta finish up my cake in the morning so i gotta get my ass to bed asap i came home thinking that my brother's home he is not here this boy i honest to god call him bring back our boys because <laughs> i never know where he is half the time and also this is like so off topic but not really but i didn't go out dressed like this i didn't go out dressed in this little number i went out dressed like my um the thumbnail of this video and then i got to my girls so that we can take an uber to the club and they were like no 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 change and it was all right it was okay although this is not my my style of dress i actually don't own a lot of dresses but i like this one and i'm appreciative of my girl who lent it to me but now i got a whole new outfit and i didn't get to wear it but that's okay because we're gonna have a whole lot of fun in december and i'm sure i'll get a chance to wear it then so i'm gonna get my booty to bed right now take this face off and i'll check you guys in the morning and let you know how everything went how i'm feeling i also have got a bottle of water for myself so that i don't feel hangovers i'm very susceptible to hangovers because i don't drink a lot so even two glasses of wine can make me feel like nauseous and just like got a headache in the morning so i'm gonna sip on that before bed also gonna get myself a piece of chicken to eat before bed because i didn't eat before drinking which is a rookie era but it's okay because i knew that i wasn't going to drink a lot so yeah, I'm going to get myself ready and I'll see you guys in the morning and let you know how it went. It was a crazy night. Like, <laughs> the club is just as crazy as I remember it to be. <laughs> it was a crazy night. It was a fun night. And hopefully we'll do it again for somebody else's birthday. Not mine though, because I've already planned my birthday for next year. I, I'll see you guys in the morning. you guys i am finally awake from yesterday's twerk sessions <laughs> um, my voice is a little bit hoarse i don't understand that but i think it's because it's actually the first that i'm first time bleh, that i'm speaking today um i had a little bit of a class matinee 
um, and I woke up at around 9 and got some work done because I had to finish a cake today and start on a new one the new ones in the oven the one that's supposed to be finished is in the fridge I just need to put a few berries on top of it but overall I had such a great time um, last night with my girls and I'm feeling okay um, I woke up with a slight headache but that's probably because I didn't drink water before I, I drank the water but I didn't drink enough water before I went to bed and that's super super important when you have a night of drinking I'm not a heavy drinker I hardly drink so like I said um, previously that I'm very susceptible to um, to hangovers because my body is, has, is not adapted to alcohol it the more you drink the more your body will adapt to it um, but even though I have a slight headache I definitely still will be able to hit my gym session which is great because I'm training quads and we all know I love to train legs and another thing is that um, even though I've got a headache I've been drinking water all morning and I have been going to the loop as in I've been peeing which is a good thing the reason that it's a good thing is because if you are dehydrated from your hangover and you drink water you probably will not be peeing because your body is trying to store the water so keep drinking that water and you'll notice that the more you drink or well, as the day goes by you'll start going to the loo which means you, you may still have a headache, but it's a good thing. Your body is, is regulating itself. It's trying to hydrate you. Um, your blood is moving a little bit better, and your heart's also doing a good job. So that's a little bit science-y, sorry, but it's very interesting, I find. So let's move on from science to what was going on last night, y'all. So last night was super lit, lit AF. We went to the Comedy Wednesday at Taboo. Then afterwards we went to Cocoon for Bobby Licious's, um event on Wednesdays. And I haven't been to the club since last year for my birthday. My boyfriend and I went to the club to celebrate my birthday last year. And then I went again now yesterday. Um, and I won't lie, it's literally like not something that I want to do often. And it's clear why, because <laughs> it's a mess, guys. It's a mess. Like from the last time that I've been clubbing, I used to club like a lot, like in my early 20s. I'm 26 now. So like 19, 20, 21, I was at the club every single weekend without, a, without fail, you know. But now I'm just like, um... And there's nothing wrong if that's your scene it's all good but it's not my scene like i say i slept in i i don't sleep in i'm up at half past five every morning uh but i came home at four o'clock so there was no ways i was gonna wake up at half past five i slept in um i only just basically finished or started working um i've got a lot to do i've got to still study i've got to get to the gym and i still gotta go drop off some things from from or at my, my friend's place but yeah what i can say you guys is that y'all are wild af oh my goodness i was shook guys it's actually just like very scary i was just thinking to myself like when i got home yesterday i was like oh my goodness our generation is screwed like our parents tried <laughs> our parents did such a great job raising us but we decided to take a motherfucking lift turn and just live our best lives i don't know if it's your best life but it's a lot it's a lot and another thing that um i noticed yesterday is just how men actually are trash like literally niggas are trash and when i say niggas i'm not just talking about black men i'm talking about all men just it's insane like yesterday when there was a time that I was walking around by myself. Well, actually, I wasn't walking around by myself. I was following a friend, and this guy grabbed me. I'm not talking about a young, you know, on the back. No, literally grabbed me and was like, um, come to my table. I'm like, no. I was, he was like, well, I want you. I'm like, yo, I'm not up for sale, okay? Like, you don't just walk up to me and be like, I want you. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. 
so he grabbed me and i was like can you just get your hands off of me and then he was like no so he grabbed me even tighter like literally put his arms around my waist onto him so i was like hmm, can you get off of me <laughs> and he was like no but i can buy you whatever you want so i was like i've got a table we've got bottles i'm all good like i don't need this and some other guys just like came up to my friends and were like i don't know i noticed that they spoke french i don't know if they're from africa or south africa or if they're actually from france but they were like um this guy comes up to my friend and he says he wants he wants her to be with his girlfriend so he wants them together so basically a menage a trois and she was like hell no and i was like what's that about so she told me the story and she's like hell no like this is crazy but it's it's insane it really is insane and there were also some people i won't say who um that are marie <laughs> and i was like is this what ma married people do like i'm not about that life like get lost get the fuck out <laughs> But overall, it was a really good um, night, and I had fun, and I'll probably... Oh, my boyfriend and I want to go out, so we want to do this thing where we go out to the club once a year. So, we want to go out soon, before the end of the year. I don't know how that's going to go down, but I don't know if it will actually happen as well. But this was the first time that I actually went out-out, as in, like, to a party this year. Um... Not even just to a club, but like to a party, if if people are having like, I don't know, something like Major League Gardens, Pop Bottles and whatever. But yeah, this is the first time that I went out and uh, it was cool, but we won't do it too often because your girl is very, very busy. So yeah, I need to manage my time and prioritize and partying it actually just puts me off. So yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and remember to if you're going to be drinking to sip on water not sip actually you need to drink lots of water before you get to bed otherwise you're going to have the worst hangover and hate yourself the next day anyways i'll catch you guys on wednesday for workout wednesday and um ciao stay safe enjoy the festive season <laughs>